there's there's things that people have. There's pocket listings. So as an agent, you can have what's called a pocket what listing a pocket as well. Pocket listing. So a pocket listing or like a a um, exclusive listing for your brokerage or something like that is essentially you say you want to sell your house, but you don't want me to put it on Zillow. You don't want people to know that you're looking to sell. Okay. So we just kind of keep it and we use our network of buyers. And that's, in my opinion, you know, as, as a, if I was selling my house, I would never do that because exactly like you mentioned, you're lowering your your pool of buyers and in turn, your uh, the amount of money that you can get for your house. If you look at numbers, your house is going to sell for more if you use a real estate agent than if you sell it by yourself. But there's not only the money side of it, there's also the not having to deal with the hassle of showing it, not having to deal with the hassle of all the back and forth and you have somebody doing all the work for you. So I've used that when I'm getting a listing. I say, okay, you wanna sell your house for 600. That's what you think you can sell it for. Let's say 5% brings it up 30 grand. If I can sell your house for 630 grand, so 30 grand more than you could sell it for, and I do all the work, why would you not list it with me? 